I'm still getting bad numbers. Wait. We're back in the green, baby. Alright. Alright, if we're in the green, we can do this. Go to, go to great men that I learned a lot from, but I'll never tell them that. A lot of green in between. I wonder how Mr. Johnson is doing. Oh boy. Great, go live. This should still contain all the information, meaning I should be fine. I don't know why autos tanking my bitrate so much. Whoa, why does this say Parasite Eve Act 4? Yeah, nah. We gonna have to change that name. Oh, I've got a talking point for the stream now. Alright, so, uh, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to look at my thumbnail, but yeah, nah, everything was screwed back then. Aria, 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 here it is. Alright, Sarfings. Pass on that. Aria of Sorrow. It's still trying to connect to my- Oh, it's still trying to connect to my level. Like, why is it trying to connect to my live streaming software? It should be all good. Okay, go to the pride. We don't look at the timeline for Twitter anymore. We don't do that here. disheartening if like I knew my content was like if I if I considered my content to be good then sure that would bother me but like it, dude my content's kind of buns so yeah it's gonna the numbers aren't gonna be good I'm not I'm not gonna be maintaining a lot of twitch followers that way mostly just a vtuber like what's so unique about me I wish! Like, I wish I had a way to be like, yeah, no, this is the thing that makes me... But, like, at the end of the day, I'm just a nerd like a lot of other people online, and at the end of the day, that doesn't really stand out to a lot of people. It's mostly just I have to capture them with my personality, and if somebody doesn't have, like, my personality, then... less on them. They don't have to like me. Even though that'd be good for my numbers. Yeah, let the shit rock, though. I also gotta update, like, the profile picture with like, a new outfit that I have for this one, and I'm probably gonna try to make, like, a new one for her as well. It 
good play a legend lineup. Dude, Evan, he does it. I expect to see Lost Soul side. Everything past this, some. Everything past Lost Soul side in the fucking Horizon remastered is cat. Like, of the highest degree, because I just don't see a Horizon. Like, anything outside of a Horizon remaster being real and, like, Lost Soul side footage. Because, like. Bing Yang and his team have been cooking with Lost Soul aside, and like Sony at least wants to let people see that. I just hope they don't try to keep doing that. Inform. I gotta inform my wife that we are completely on for Shroom today. Somebody say Batman doing the Diddy in a server that I was went to post the Lincoln, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk away from that one. If you don't look at it, it can't hurt you. That's all I see it anyways. A random thought, but remember when a bridge series were popular to those of you who watch VODs, like who listen to VODs, I think you remember when like a bridge series were like one of the most Massive things on the internet, like in terms of like YouTube content. Cause like I think about like the con the concept of like an abridged series, and I think about how a lot of work went into writing. I want like jokes that are meant to be funny for it. Sometimes it was just friends dicking around and like quietly riffing on the series with their like with their humor, but still enjoying what they were doing. And I think that's, like, what made wanting to do a bridge series so fun to me, because there were just, like, jokes we could make within the context of them. Because like, I was just thinking about that, I'm like... Oh, wait, let me check my mission real quick. What an actual walk. I think when I restarted my computer that one time, it fucked a lot of things up. Cross walks. Gotta hate captures sometimes. Does CAPTCHAs low-key waste my time? It's like, dog, I know what these look like. I'm not a bot. Let me get into my account. Da -da 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 -da. And like, to those of you who like, listen to the VODs, you're probably just like sitting here like, yeah, I understand these things are like, dude, fuck. You just went from talking about a bridge series to fucking CAPTCHAs, and it's like, yes, because I, I tend to do that a lot. I have... No, I want to log in. I want to log in. Fucking, ah. Uh... Gotta reset my password for Restream again. Because I have the brain of a goldfish. Oh, those with goldfish brain moments. Well, like, you just, like, where you're going through, like, where you're trying to, like, remember something, and your brain is just not letting you. I go through this password and it's like, I know they say, oh, people say, oh. People say, oh, don't, don't use the same password every single time, and it's like, bitch. And it's like, bitch. I have no choice but to use the same password every time. If I forget... If I forget the fucking password I have now, I'm true. I'm sitting there like, dog, I have to use the same password every time. I don't have but so much brain space because I'll type in some shit that doesn't, like, it's not relevant to my password and I'll screw myself over and I'm like, well, there I go. 
but like, I just try not to like rely on the same password too many times, even though I realistically have to because of how my brain functions. Like I do it at the event of like I know what happens to my brain, where I'm like, yeah, nah, I don't forgot that. Like, there are very specific things from, like, years ago, I remember, but at the same time... Dude... Memorizing passwords sucks! I should, like, get that text document out I have... ...on, like, my old laptop... ...and use that to store passwords again, because that laptop's, like, tracking Wi-Fi card is dead, so nobody can get into it unless... ...they physically are next to my... next to me. There we go. I can't type for shit. Let's go. Yes, save that password, please. <laughs> There we go. Now I can now I can view the fucking YouTube chat. I'm sorry this took so long to set up. What is that? Oh, let's get dancing. Ba -ba -ba. Alright. Got the chat all hooked up. My controller is plugged in. I'm gonna model it. Hey, come on. Do you think there I am? I know I'm in my messy hair glory. Yeah. Alright, so I don't need this on screen over here anymore. Why is this so long? It's just a Twitch activity feed, it does not need to be that long. Hmm, well, I, think I was kinda- I was playing, um, plays with somebody last night, like, uh, like a homie. With my Dead or Alive group. That I occasionally talk about, and like, I realized. Is that I was gonna kill him if he played Arcune? Cause like, he, like, he's somebody who like willingly likes to play lame. And so I kind of sat there like, ah, playing lame isn't fun. It's not even fun to like. I don't see how people can have fun doing that. And again, it's probably internet troll mentality. We're like, huh, I am pissing this person off. And then the minute things go wrong for them, they fall apart and they get mad. And then it becomes funny for everybody else. But like, he picked Arcune, and I didn't immediately go to Nine to maul him. Because I'm like, no, I want him to enjoy Blaze Blue. I don't want to just make him quit or some shit like that. So, like, I kind of let it go, and I'm like, yeah, no, 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 you're doing good. Like, which he is doing good at the game. Like, he's actually, like, got a really solid grasp of it. So, like, I kind of let him have that. Like, we ran matches. And I was just doing poorly because I don't play Blaze Blue as often as I used to. I'm, like, more getting back into, like, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax and stuff. But all that said, we can finally... FINALLY start the revisit to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. To repeat what I had said before, for those of you who weren't there... Aria of Sorrow was the first game I completed on stream. Like, it was the first time I had actually beaten a game from start to finish on stream. It was the first time like, I felt like I was being very consistent with streaming, and it's what made me want to stay consistent with doing streaming. So, we're going to go back to it. We're not only going to be playing it from start to finish, we're also going to be getting the best ending in it, and we're going to be playing Dawn of Sorrow after that. But we're not going to do Dawn of Sorrow right after this, we're going to be doing something else. I don't know what that something else is, because I don't want to just do Dawn of Sorrow right after this. I might do Harmony of Distance and Circle of Moon. Just fuck it, because we're going into October. Fuck it. Month of Castlevania? Anybody? Anybody? It was and if I decide to do all October playing Castlevania, and the only other thing I don't do is play fucking Sparking Zero, 
or like the black rock shooter patch for fucking like the only other things i do are Spartan zero and black rock shooter patch for fucking punishing gray raven we can make this a month of castlevania these games aren't incredibly long but they are really fun and they're some of my favorite like 2d games of all time like in, in terms of like quality they're so fucking good Uh, that's not good. It is using... Oh, because I... I'm stupid. I don't have any save data. I never saved when I... Alright, so let's try that again. Soulske, because everybody calls me Soulske, because that's what they know me as. Everybody knows me as Soulske, and that's what they're always going to know me as. The year is 2035. Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full-scale solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the eclipse of Mina, but for some strange reason, the stairway leading up to the shrine felt longer than usual. So something was keeping me from my destination. When I finally managed to get through to the shrine gate, my senses began to dim. The pitch black sun was holding together the chaotic darkness, trying to rouse sleeping souls as if looking for its missing half. So, I'm gonna tell you straight up, that was a translation error about him being her childhood friend, because, like, he is actually- Soma is actually Japanese. He just happens to look really, really, really fucking anime. Like, white hair and everything. So yeah, Soma, because Soma's last name is not Cruz, it is Kurusu. Like, you know, Crow, or closer to Karasu. So yeah, Soma is actually Japanese. Just, like, thought I'd point that out. This is something that, like, when you read the dialogue, you're, like, you're an exchange student, but she's your childhood friend? What? what? Like, you, like, people will be like, what the fuck is going on there? Uh, mm. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Oh, what happened? So, you've decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Soma. His name is Genya Arikado. Genya Arikado. Mina, why did you say it twice? I just think it's funny. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions I need answered. And I need answers now. Go ahead. Should have had a question mark there. Like, he's like, okay. Why have you come here? Why? Well, Mina and I... Hang on. Where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we're in Europe? No. We're inside the solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse? Are you insane? D do you think I'm a fool? Stoma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What are you talking about? Give him an explanation. Well, it's like this. An enemy. Soul steel. Damn, protect the girl. Go back to where you came from! What was that? What was that thing? So, it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. 
But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier. Death will certainly find those who stay here too long. Then... Then I... Yes. Only you can save her from this painful death. You. What will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go. Set forth. Both your life- your own life and hers are at stake. Hey, Kaniku. And if you couldn't tell, I was doing my best to do a very shitty impression of Yuri Lowenthal. If you- if you know, you know. Oh, yes. I fucking love Rune Castle Corridor. But yeah, this is Aria of Sorrow, a Metroidvania released in 2003 on the Game Boy Advance, and it looks honestly still pretty fucking good. Oh shit, cloth tunic, finally. Something that isn't just my casual clothes. This cloth tunic. Alright, Kaniku, I'm sorry that happened, man. What the fuck? And the homie Kaniku's internet got fucking destroyed. Well, like I like I still think this game visually holds up incredibly well, just like as pixel art. Like it's just it's literal just moving art at this point. Gimme, short sword. Later on, we are going to be getting a very specific weapon that I'm going to try and use as much as humanly possible. No, it's not the Claim Solsh, even though the Claim Solsh is a really good weapon. Or I'm talking about something else before the Claim Souls. And there we go. We can now backdash, I think. Okay. Yeah, but now, as you can see, we can now backdash. Backdashing is important. That'll get you through the castle very fast. It's not like fucking. So it's not like Symphony of the Knights backdashing, where like you can cancel it with another animation smoothly. Which I think it didn't come back because the developers did not intend for you to be backdash canceling all over the place. So they were like, "Yeah, nah, get that shit out of here." But we will get ways to move throughout the castle much faster. Okay, I'm kind of mad. I can't kill those enemies right now. We'll come back when we can walk underwater. Trust me, it'll be useful. But you're probably noticing the thing popping up above my head. That is not a me. That is not, like, exclusive to my model. No, that's in-game. So, the little empty circle tells you if I've collected the enemy soul. If I don't have the enemy soul, the circle's not going to be lit up. And souls are important. They are essentially your extra weapons. Or your extra weapons and abilities. And you can range from the Axe Armor's Axe Throw to the Javelin Toss that you saw that I used earlier. None of that. I want the Axe Toss because the Axe Toss is actually really good. Ow, you bitch! But yeah, souls have their own lowered drop rate compared to items, so you will have to be careful with that. And here's the Kraken Skull. You can't tell, I've played this game a lot, so... Being able to cheese the fucking creaking skull like this... Ain't that hard. Defeat the creaking skull, Aria of Sorrow. If you notice, the creaking skull does have a soul, and we'll see it again later. This is one of those enemies that becomes a regular boss, that becomes a regular enemy later. To a point where you go, so why the fuck are you a boss anyways? It really if Darkseid from Kingdom Hearts became a normal boss as you were playing through the game. Like, 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 Creaking Skull is no Gasha Dokoro. It is not a... It is not in... In large spook, the... The spook lord. Like, he is not... He is not Captain Skelly thingy. He is instead just... A dude. That I had to... You know... I had to show him that I had a bone to pick with him, too. Yes, I stole that joke off my girlfriend who was in the chat. You probably saw her say it. Ow. And yes, I am going to be using 
the javelin toss a lot more often because, dude, this shit is so useful. Like, you can get mileage out of any soul. Look at her. Look at her there being a gremlin. Yeah, I see you. I see you over there. Being a cute-ass gremlin. It's just what she is. I can't help it. I have to actually equip the soul. And we have our first guardian soul. Guardian souls are... Essentially, so that you can hold the button down for to get, like, your benefits from. So, like, in the case of the flying armor, it does what it says on the pa on the tin. You can float. You cannot actually fly. That would snap game balance and happen. You can literally go anywhere. Like, that air- like, that little path you saw me walk past that led upward, I could have gone there if I could actually fly with it. I remember correctly, some souls do have a lower drop rate than others just because of their massive fucking utility to a point where it almost feels like a meme with how low some soul drop rates are. You just kind of sit there like, damn. Shit's cracked. Can I have more of it? No. And souls will get much better in Dawn of Sorrow, I can tell you that. But like, like mechanically, I think Dawn of Sorrow ha is an improvement to Aria of Sorrow, but I do like Aria of Sorrow's structure overall a little bit more. Yeah! Maybe learn to crouch! I know the Blue Crow Soul is actually really good too for something. I don't remember what though. Oh hey, Abwir. Back up. Yeah, Abwirs are weird creatures that I. It freaked me out when I first saw this. Is that a fucking lion head? On legs? With blades? Legs that are on fire too. Ow. Hello, White Dragon. The sea of red in those eyes now. Indeed, there is. There are reasons behind that. I'm too lazy to explain that now. Hi, Otter. How you doing? A clip from BB Tag. I have to show you. If me and a friend were playing. Me and a friend of mine were playing earlier. And I have to say, I enjoy Tager. I think he's great. I don't think what. What happened in that clip, I don't think should ever happen to a Tager player at all. Every grenades! I'm glad to see that, man. Very good. Uh, Alright, I want that. Gimme. Oh, like, the rule of thumb for being in Metroidvanias is always upgrade your equipment with the next thing you see until you feel like you can manipulate the system to be to be whatever you want. Like, eh, I want to do this my way. Or you could just play with whatever equipment, strongest or not. Nah, not this time. You ain't give me your soul yet, damn. Uh, shout out to- Shout out to hand grenades in this game. Just the concept of just chucking a grenade at an enemy and it and it benefits you so much. Alright. We're going up here for something because there is like a piece of equipment we can get up here. That'll at least add to our stats. Defense is king. I'd be able to get up there, but that will require a backdash cancel I don't think I have access to yet. Like I'd have to I think I'd have to double jump it and then. Come on. I want to see if I can get it early, because sequence breaking is the sequence breaking is the life of a Metroidvania. <laughs> Ow. Well, we got the copper plate early. Alright, much higher defense. And that's the Katobo boss. He'll throw you to stone! That shit ain't fun! Get me out of here. Wait a minute, can't I just Oh I don't have the I don't have the means necessary. Uh item use. I have a potion so I can heal. Before I eventually succumb to my own whim. 
pull arrow? Pull this real quick? Ow. Yeah, he doesn't drop the soldiers yet because I'm not I'm not lucky enough. Even though luck in this game is technically a broken stat, like luck as a stat does not fucking work. Like it just won't function. I'm dead serious and I don't get why. Like you could jack your luck to 99 and how it functions will still remain the same. Hey, there we go, strength increased by four. And these are our passive souls. I forget the name of this kind of soul, because there's bullet. Guardian, and I'm forgetting the name of the yellow one. I just know, like, the yellow one is essentially all your passives. Like, your passive abilities, like, being able to regen health, stat increases, all come from... All come from equipping a yellow soul. Even the ability to walk on and underwater comes from yellow soul. Well, no, wait. I think the ability to walk underwater is a yellow soul, but the ability to walk on it is a it's a pass is like is a gray soul. I don't remember. It has been a while since I got those. Also, damn, it feels much easier to do the fucking... the backdash jump cancel on this. I don't know why, like, on GBA, like, emulating this? Like, playing this on, on an actual on actual hardware or emulating this, for some reason, back, backdash jump cancels were... not it for me, personally. It just did not feel right. And I can now fire enchanted arrows, let's go. Who... who designed this place? Daedalus? Selma, what is that? What, what do you mean? Well, Mina... Mina, do you have, like, 15 minutes for me to explain this? Sure, I ain't got no, anything else to do. <laughs> little do, little did we know Mina loves when loves when Soma goes on rants about innocuous shit about the design, about the structure of things like that, because she likes hearing him talk. And again, I think, like, we don't get to see a lot of Soma and Mina's relationship heavily. But I can 100% say with confidence, it is probably the most adorable thing of just... Soma talks, Mina listens, and she's just staring at him, just... Her big old brown eyes, just looking at him like, I love him so much. Like, he doesn't talk much to a lot of other people, but when he talks to her... It is the long- the, the, some of the longest and most just... Intricate conversations about whatever. Just because Soma likes to talk about things with her, because she's just that kind of person. Like, I like, I think one thing I can say about Donasaro's art style change compared to like, ow, fuck, compared to the Ayame Kojima style used in this is that I like how Mina looks in that game because it really accentuates that she's just this adorable ray of light for Soma, while well, in this game, I genuinely think she's she's beautiful to a point where it's like, damn girl, you are just, you are adorably beautiful. Can you turn off the sun? What do you mean by that? I don't know, like, put a bag on your face. It's, it's distracting. I can't see straight. I don't know where, why that happened, but I think it's just as a result of me thinking, yes, Soma and me and I have an adorable relationship. It's not the deepest thing ever, but I love it. It's like Kyrie and Sora from Kingdom Hearts. It's just like, it's not, it's not uber deep, but it's still deep enough where you go, that's sweet. Even though like Kyrie, if we're cross compares, if we're, if we're doing a cross comparison between Kyrie and Sora's relationship to Soma and Mina, Soma and Mina definitely 100% have the weaker relationship between the two. Like Kyrie and Sora have like this literal deep connection that runs through their souls. Well, Soma, well, Mina, Soma and Mina's relationship is very much, I love her. I think she's neat. Shout out to Castlevania fans who don't just hate her for existing and not fighting everything like every other character. Like, I like that. That's just something I don't like about a lot of other fan bases when they do shit like that, where they hate a character whose existence is. They're, they're a nice person. They will just hate them because they don't do anything, and it's like, the fuck, man? Also, hi, Dev. 
You caught me in the middle of one of my rants again, where I'm just talking and nobody's stopping me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My face! Oh. Hello there. Uh, hello. You're, you're human, aren't you? Relax. My name is Graham. And let's just say I'm a missionary. Oh. I'm Soma. Soma Cruz. You weren't... You weren't here in this shrine before, were you? How did you get here? I'm not sure. I went through the shrine gate and boom! I was here. I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. But isn't Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? In theory, yes. But his true castle exists somewhere else. His true castle? Yes, it's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? That NPC Napgear situation. Yeah. Well, uh, no. I thought Dracula... I thought the story of Dracula was made up by a woman... Not a woman named Mary... Sh Mary Shelley is Frankenstein. Fuck. No, it's all true. It was leaked to the outside world. It was Bram Stoker who made Dracula. Usually, the church handles these things with utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times. Did you know that Dracula is the reason why Archduke Ferdinand was killed and World War I happened? Huh? Yeah, true story. Elizabeth Bathory did it. What the fuck, man? You don't just drop that knowledge on me. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of things in this world are because are related to vampires doing dumb shit in one way or another to resurrect Dracula. True story. When people lost faith, and craved chaos and destruction. So you're trying to tell me... Now that Dracula has been resurrected? No. Dracula perished in 1999. You know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostradamus' great prophecy? That's right. Dracula was resurrected, exactly as he predicted. But vampire hunters completely destroyed him. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing his castle. A symbol of his demonic power. Inside the darkness of an eclipse. And that eclipse is where we are now? Yes, but there is still more to the story. There's more? In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle. And he... will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, that time is now. I better get going. Is that all, then? Oh, yes, thank you. Farewell, and be careful. Yes, you too. Sam such a nice guy. It's just like, yeah, it's just like Moses having a fucking Beyblade to part the Red Sea. Like, the lore of Castlevania... Not, not even, I gotta, like... Pause it like this so you can cut out the music. I wasn't joking about that Archduke Ferdinand comment. The plot of Castlevania Bloodlines is that Elizabeth Bathory incites World War One in order in order to use the souls of the dead killed during the Great War to then resurrect Dracula. And it does work, but you know, Jonathan Morris kind of John Morris kind of puts Dracula in a fucking pack because uh Somebody's got to do it. But I'm dead serious. She incites World War One, and she's most likely the reason why Archduke Ferdinand got killed in the first place. So, like, she caused World War One. Kind of like that episode of Fairly Odd Parents, where you find out that one little girl caused caused World the little girl that Cosmo and Wanda had as a previous god kid. Fucking. Also started World War One, which is still crazy to me to drop in the middle of a fucking children's cartoon, which I didn't get until like until I got old enough to learn about World War One, where I was like, wait. Cause I just remember saying this out loud in classes, wait, you mean like that episode of Fairly Out Parents? And somebody was like, wait. Yeah, I remember that, and the teacher goes, Yeah. Well, this time a kid didn't start World War One instead. 
it was different circumstances, but I'm glad you understand. Why was that on a cartoon? The rest of us looking at the teacher, yeah. Yeah. It was weird, man. No, butterfly, the yeah, butterfly effect do be going crazy. Like, the, the concept of fucking Castlevania, like, the events of fighting vampires in Castlevania being the reason why a lot of the shit that happened in the world did is funny to me. Hell yeah, level up. I don't backdash a lot because it's not as fast to me in this game. Fuck! Oh my god, I felt really fast there. What the fuck? That that felt weird. Alright. Up here, because I want that mind up or MP regen. Ow! I think that's a health max or a high potion. I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, so am I getting to use some of these souls as fucking broken sometimes, I swear. Ow. But yeah, Cleopatra- Cleopatra having El Drago at one point is still a fuck plotline to me. Just wait. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I can't get up there. I need to, like, double jump, I think. Like, the concept of just a lot of historical figures who were low-key morally dubious having access to fucking Lightning El Drago. Oh, thank God it wasn't some shit like Meteo El Drago. Hey, Dying Ghost. Uh, can I go up here? Yes, I can. Also, you see what I mean by, like, this place is just, like, visual art? Like, the, like most of the Metroidvanias in general, to me, are, like, just really nice looking. Like, Circle of Moon is the only one I can say visual is, is weak visually, and even then still has great gameplay. The DDS system is fucking great. Eh, eh, eh. Baby, okay, yeah, a babe took out the fucking dinosaurs, exactly. So, like, wait. A Beyblade did what? Oh, hitches in my system. There. Uh, fuck. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna really like hunt down souls unless it's ones like I require. Cause I think it's succubi, manticore, not manticore, and something succubi. The Red Demon, I think that's what it's called. It, I don't remember entirely off the top of my head. Mm. Give me the fucking soul. I want that soul because I think it's cool. And the voice line, and the voice line that um, and the voice line that Soma has in this game for it is really cool. She did suck it. Like, my memory of this game is much fresher because I played this one a lot more often, like, on revisits and stuff. But, like, when we get to set, like, Dawn and Portrait and, like, Order of Ecclesia, you will see that my memory fails me more often than I- Except for, like, Order of Ecclesia. I fucking love Order of Ecclesia. Like, I've played Order- Order- I've played Order of Ecclesia enough times. To at least remember a few things about it. Light him up, and then stab him a few times. And fight over. Pose. Yeah, now Manticore was not the one I was thinking of that gives you the soul that you need. Uh, 
when we get to the end of the game. I just know, like, there are souls you have to grind for. Fleeman! Fleeman, or as some people would call him, Eagle. Yeah, like, Castlevania usually shoves a lot of, like, mythological creatures into the roster as enemies. Like, Gorgons are straight up here. Just as enemies, just cause. Fuck it, I guess. We ball. Although, blood in the, blood in the GBA game still, like, screwed my head up when I was young. Because I was like, holy shit. Well, I didn't say holy shit, but I was like, oh my god, this game has blood in it? In a Game Boy Advance game? What? I was, yeah, because I was like, what the fuck? That's allowed, because the only game I had seen with blood in it... Yes, yeah, so the Daedalus joke was... I, that's why I acknowledged it the way I did. Because I knew where this was going. You haven't even played the game, but you have a vibe. But you have Dracula's vibes down. I fucking love this woman. Y'all see why I love her so much? Uh, nope, can't go up there yet. Didn't witch now. Ah, ah. I got. I don't. I'm not taking as much damage as I normally would, because I decided to fucking do the the little sequence break just to gain access to the fucking copper plate early. Maybe the bastard sword. More damage. Also, as you can see, I made a fair bit of progress and we're only 40 minutes in because the game isn't super long, but there's a lot to look around for. Which, we will start doing that as we get later in the game. I swear to God, if this tiny devil doesn't hand over the fucking soul. Like, Durga has a really cool soul because it's just dagger toss, but it's longer. So you could space out enemies much better with it. It's kind of like a zoning tool in a fighting game. But, uh, Tiny Devil has Sonic Shockwave, and Sonic Shockwave tracks the enemy, and I need that shit, like, AF ASAP. Uncurse? I don't really run into Curse as much as I do, as I would in this game. Back up. Actually, for the meantime, I think I can equip Giant Ghost, because I'm not going to need the ability to float. As you can see, it's a barrier! It works exactly like you think. It reflects projectiles. Ah! It does not reflect all projectiles, but it does reflect some, and that projectile reflect works to a much better benefit than one would think. Yeah, I can't even go up there yet, because I don't have double jump. Uh, do I have to push the box down there? I'll worry about it later. No. I can't stand Fleeman. Like, Fleeman, Frogs, and Toads, I cannot stand. Hello! It caught me off guard once, and I thought it was just a regular-ass 2D spider, and it scared... And it made me jump, and it made... And my mom... And my mom came to the room one day and was like, What the fuck was that about? I'm sorry. I thought I saw a giant fucking spider in my game. I didn't say giant fucking spider, but she kind of... You get the vibe. Those ectoplasms do cause curse, by the way, and I don't like dealing with curse anyways because it, it saps all your MP. Like, you lose all your MP down to zero, and that's just not fun. Like, who wants to be playing a game where your MP is just... Zero. No. Not I, said the smart one. Even though I'm not that fucking smart. Also, Melon. I'm only, like, looking at my bottle now. I'm only noticing how fucking... vacant of life my eyes kind of appear. Because it's, like... It's kind of like the Kazuki Takahashi thing of, like, with Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. Where, like, they have the white in the middle of their eyes as their pupil. Which works to their benefit because, A, Takahashi's art style accentuates the eyes heavily in a way that allows for that to be done. Meanwhile, the art style for this is not it at all. Uh, no. Down here. 
Oh, yeah, there's my save point. Ah, I got a fucking bastard. Wish you were Salem because that enemy has a great design and I am obsessed with it to this day. Ah, oh, there she is! There's my girl. Hey, you are Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Yoko Bonades, a member of the church. I thought what if a member of the church recognized me? You've met Aluka <clears throat> Genya Arikado, right? I did meet him, but he told me about you and asked and asked me to help you if you're ever in trouble. Arikado said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait. Wait. Did you say my powers are dark? Uh, you mean you didn't know that? Uh... Oh, no. Did I say something? Oh, fuck. I am... Kid, I am so sorry. Well, I... I well, what's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. Rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. It comes as natural as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I call... I called it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. Its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. Well, when you put it that way, I feel a bit better. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose my sense of self. You're yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second-guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. <laughs> I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Grim? Grim? Yeah, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe he will impair Dracula's powers. But wait! He did not look like a bad guy! Right. And I believe I've got a bridge to sell you. Boom! This woman said, have you seen his face? That man looks like Snake Oil Salesman, the character. Don't be so fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. Alright. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. I fucking love Yoko, man. Her design is so pretty. Like the Bonatis clan. The women just be beautiful. Fucking Saifa, Yoko, it's like, bro. Ah, ga -ga, stone. The Hall of the Minotaur. I think the Minotaur in this game is not a boss fight, but it's a fucking boss fight in, in fucking Harmony of Dissonance. Also, if you're wondering what all this money is for, it'll come into play later. Boss fight's over there, but... I want to go this way first. Dog, I'm gonna need you to... Yeah, light him up. Up, up, up! I've never actually used the backdash to dodge an attack before. There it is! Whip sword. One of the many weapons I like using. Just because, A, it's extended range, and B, Castlevania. Castlevania and whips go hand in hand, man. Look at that range. That is zoner activity. If you could find, like, the fucking vampire killer for Soma, that'd be great. But yeah, we don't have to really- we don't ever have to go back in that room again. Like, there's no point. I went in there for the fucking whip sword and I got it. Uh, nope. That's that way, meaning save point is this way. Or not! He's not like graham crackers, Soma. Those are bomb. Those are the bomb. Huh? 
I think like Soma's even like 15 or 16 here, so imagine. Oh, well, imagine her saying that to him and he's just like, what? Meet the meet the final guard. Well, the great armor as it's called. Alright, so I'm gonna need to pull out not the not a new weapon, but we gonna need to pull out Granada. Nah. Nah, why are you running? You don't like grenades? Yeah, I was prepared to sign out. Okay, so I might be in danger. I might be in danger just a little bit. Can I throw a grenade? I can. Yeah, this is the strat. You just kind of poke him in his foot. Iron fist and an iron glove. Beat the great armor. An aria of sorrow. Oh, yes. Oh. What's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? Child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Sama. I thought I was expecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So I just bailed on my mission. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up shop. Ah. Good for you. Wait till you find out what he sells. Then then you're gonna be really fucking confused. There are weapons all over this castle and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by. I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> this man was gonna sell weapons to fucking civilians at a shrine in Japan. What even? A shop, huh? I don't get it. And we now have the ability to double jump. Don't you just love when a game gives you a double jump? This shit's... Double jumps are peak. Like, in terms of game design, I fucking love double jumps. They allow for a more open-ended level design, especially if double jumps can com combo with other actions. You could just start doing crazy shit. Brother, my range is better. Yeah, I don't have to get too close to you. Ha 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 I love the ranged option of the whip star. Backup where The where gives you a nice little like guardian soul that That'll like have things orbit around you. And another archer. Hold on, let me check my map real quick. Have I been down here? I have not. Can't get there yet. We need the ability to slide. And I got a cream soda out of beating the shit out of a fucking... Beating the shit out of a fucking... Student witch. That makes sense. Not the... Not busting out Mandark as an insult. I still think, like... Mandark, to me... Was, like... I always thought Dee Dee was annoying in Dexter's lab, and that's just because she kept bothering Dexter, and I, like, through osmosis, I understood the misery of just, leave me alone. But Mandark, though? Mandark? Bro, take your ha 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 ass somewhere else. Bro, head shaped like an inverted beaker. Bro, men's... Men's intellect on a 40, trying to chase the intellect of someone on a 10. Like, 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 I don't have a problem with someone who's ditzy. Didi was as dumb as a sack of rocks. Like, that was, like, that was dumb to a alarming degree. There's another sword up there, but I'm not trying to get the sword. But nah, like, why was, like... I was like, are we talking about sound Dee Dee makes whenever she walks around? Like, she's walking on gum constantly. 
Heart Pendant. It only increases my luck. Don't need that. Alright, so... We're gonna go down and then out. We're gonna leave this area. We don't need to be here. Like, that should always bother, like, okay, like... Like, cause, like, DD being a, like, being a ballerina is one thing. It's... It's the fucking... It's the sound of gum beneath her shoes, like... Why... I... I even pay attention to ballet like that when I was young, but even I knew. Ballet shoes shouldn't sound like you done walked into 40 tons of hubba bubba, like... What is going on there? Wet sock ass noise. Honestly, she has wet sock... She has wet sock IQ. Whatever the fuck that means. Oh, I got a spear out of that. Neat. Like, whatever the fuck wet sock IQ means, that's what Didi has. Give me soul! Like, Dexter's dad was cool, his mom was nice, and then... Fucking... Fucking... Dee Dee and Mandark. I got a hammer. Neat. Uh, yeah, then we could just leave this area, because we can't really do anything else here. We have to, like, come back later. Because the books are important. Uh, the ability to double jump, man. Give me a double jump in, like, a platformer action RPG. Well, depending on the action RPG. Like, depending on the action RPG in question. We messed up. Back to the lab again. Oh, no. Back to... That... I'll always cite, like, as my favorite bumper from Boomerang, Mc... Gorilla Facil, that that shit is un unnecessary fire. It's about fucking Magilla Gorilla, and it's so good. Magilla Gorilla Facil, we got a Gorilla Facil. Listen, I'm like, wait, Lazy like, people be like, you don't fuck with rap like that. No, I do. When rap is more so about vibes and just like existing, it's like that's that shit I'm into. Like when it comes to rap, like shit like that. Cause like it could still obviously have a meaning to it, but give me some shit like Bagilla Gorilla for sale, and I'll and I'll sit there and bump that all day. It's why I bought. It's why I bought fucking. It's why I bought fucking on um, which call it Be Supreme's album. Oh, patience! I was like, yeah, nah, I need this. this. These are vibes, and I and I feel these lyrics like legitimately. Like it's just sometimes it's a dude spitting shit, but it doesn't have to be ignorant shit, and I vibe with that. Then a growing up a black kid. And not being heavy into, like, all the rap everyone else is. I essentially, like, going through, like, middle school, learn how to, like, duplicate other people's mannerisms. I was able to still, like, be myself, also be around them. And just enjoy, enjoy the rap, but, like, not really care. And then, like, coming out of that, when I got to high school, my brain just kind of went... Do what you want and be who you are. Who the hell is going to stop you? And that's why I came to be the person I am where... I definitely... Like, I have definitely just kind of vibed and existed, but I'm also still... Very much... Just a black dude. Or in this case, a black person. Because I'm non-binary. I'm just kind of existing and shit. I just kind of be chilling, and that's... Honestly... All you need to be sometimes. You just... You gotta chill. Fuck how other people feel about you. They don't like how you... They don't like the way you move because you're moving to your own beat and you're comfortable with that? Cool. Fuck. This ain't about them. This is about you. It also does help that I, like, growing up in New York, that, uh... I did end up adopting that accent that people, like, claim every single New Yorker has. And when I get too mad, that shit slips out extra hard. Ah! Bastard. And it's like, if you know the, like, the accent in question, you probably heard people mention it before. Like, why do y'all always sound so angry? Dog, have you ever actually been in a bodega where shit just don't want to work? 
That's me. That's why, like, when the accent slips out, it truly is very much a case of, damn, you are right? No, I'm not. Oh, shit, I have to go to the... I have to go to the store. Ah, fuck. I gotta go to the store tomorrow to get more drinks because a friend of mine is coming over on Wednesday. He was like, yo, you wanna hang out? And I'm like, sure. I ain't doing shit. I'm literally just at this point waiting for Sparking Zero to... Holy shit! Yeah. That is a way to change people. Hi. Did you want to talk about things that threw me off? I was in the middle of a sentence and then brain overload. Th thank you, but at the same time, hi. How's it going? I'm Zosuke. I had a coherent thought, I swear. Southern accent works the same, but you see, your southern accent is really cute. The other person in the chat was my girlfriend. She was here. Here, chilling. Man, this- I don't got stations. We don't have money for stations, baby. You know this. We got, uh... I have to go back this way. Damn it! That time, that was me screwing up. I need to actually... Thinking about the raid alert, I may need to get a new, like, animation for it. Like, I mean, like, I mean, like, make a gif using, like, a lot of the sprites from fucking, um, Undernight. Of, like, everybody essentially running... Because it's like, oh shit, what's going on? I do not have the zombie soul yet. I didn't stand in the- I didn't stand in the corridor to grind for it. Even though the ability to eat rotten food and heal would be nice. I didn't do that. Has a cherry on top. That's nice. I never read the tooltip for that. I just- I got it one day, used it as a healing item, and called it a day. Yeah, go back upstairs. For- Honestly, the- I remember playing this after Symphony of the Night, and when I got the ability to, like, go to whatever teleporter I wanted, this shit felt euphoric. Just, oh my god, I can tell- I can go where I please. Eh, no, 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 no. Back up. That's the whip sword, by the way. This, like, I barely have to engage with enemies that are- at a super close range. I can just kind of stand back and just poke him. I really wish other Retrovanias had that kind of weapon for me that was like that, that didn't have that one awkward quirk to it that was like, why is it like this? Except for the whips and, um, Portrait of Ruin, but we'll get to Portrait of Ruin. I love that game, but I also have, like, one major issue with it, and no, it does not have to do with the partner system. It, uh, has to do with how the Vampire Killer works. And how I really wish Nebula was a stronger whip. Hey, the Kestis. The Kestis. I really wish the Kestis and other fist based weapons had that double hitbox. Like, the double hitbox that Alucard's punch attacks had in Symphony of the Night kind of spoiled me just because it was a two frame. It was a two and three process of him putting his hand out, and when he pulls it back, the second hit triggers. So you're able to keep the so you're able to keep the process going of stacking damage. Hey, enemies! But I didn't, I'm so sorry for not asking. <laughs> to everyone with the raid, how you all doing? How was your day? I spent most of my day playing Blazes Across Stack Battle with a friend earlier, and just kind of, kind of. Oh man. Very much a case of, ugh. That game is scuffed, but I love it. Howdy. Out of there, you came. Is this where you've opened up your shop? Yes, yes it is. By that way, that cute young lady over there. She's staring at you. She your friend? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Uh, hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy now. You hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Alright, back to business. Take a look around, friend. I just want to point out, Hammer was really about to sell weapons to the fucking... He was going to sell weapons to regular-ass people before ending up in the Eclipse. Ah, that was your first Castlevania game. A lot of the weapons of the series have unique gimmicks or just things that are just funky about them. Hey, Mina. Welcome back, Soma. Hey. What? That man over there. Who, you mean Hammer? 
His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening up shop in a... In this castle? He's weird. It's pretty strange. But if you say he's a good guy, I'll believe you. Fucking love this it's just small things like that, just little things. Okay. From right We can go upstairs now. But I have to go all the way over there. But yeah, we can at least go upstairs. Now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Kestos, but I warn you. If you don't like watching somebody get hit, that's gonna get annoying really quickly. And I just got a bunch of pop-ups from Epic. I'm... I, unless y'all suddenly give away a game that's exclusive to the Epic Game Store that I actually really want to play, I'm probably not gonna get it. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna open it for that. I, I have the Epic Game Store for two reasons. I play a lot of Fortnite. In my off time, anyways. I don't... There's nothing like Fortnite is not something I would stream just because I don't think y'all want to watch... Watch me get really quiet and just... If you could see the way my pupils dilate, you would understand, yeah, now you just kind of do whatever when you're playing Fortnite. You, you lock in. And we can go up that way, but not yet. Punch. Punch. I can't imagine being a skeleton and thinking, yeah, nah, this, this bone toss about to go crazy. And then you toss it and he punches the bone out the air or... The funnier alternative, he catches it and throws it back at you. And, 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 and don't don't back up. Remind me of the fucking the boomerang skeletons from Stoughton, where you just kind of back up, back them into a corner, and they and they get scared. Ow! No, no, we're up. And I'm I keep pressing that. Yeah, I'm supposed to be pressing select there, up here. Uh, the ability to just double jump over a gap and not have to actually worry about using the floating. Hey, hey, dumb nuts! You missed. Actually, I'm gonna have early access to Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero, so I could stream that, or would people prefer that I just, or people prefer that I just kind of. Put out like a fighting games with friends. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I can't. So I can't go up there yet. Damn it. I'm looking over this to like map out where I should go. Because I know I don't have the slide yet. And slide is needed to get one of the ancient books. So that I can use the books in order to access the information needed. And only remember one of the souls being the succubi and like the giant demon that slides across the floor. And I can't use those yet because I don't really have them. I could show off the bad ending like once. Ah, ah, back up. Also, like, off camera, I've been playing Borderlands 3 again with friends. Because the first time I played it, I played it by myself and I was just kind of going through the motions playing as Mauve. The, uh, the chick with the giant mech. Because I was like, oh shit, I'm a mecha fan. I like giant robots. This is going to be great. So, like, I was playing, and I'm like, I don't have a problem with playing Borderlands 3, but, like, this is mostly just narrative, the narrative of the game just wasn't as entertaining as, like, 2 and 1s to me. Oh, son of a... Can't go up there, either. Fun. But, like, I do, like, gameplay-wise, going back to it, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm playing as Amara the Siren. And, like, Amara... Hey, there we go. S skeleton time. Spooky hour. Yeah, like, I was enjoying a lot of, like, playing as Amara because, like, I normally don't do the Siren until my second playthrough. That's what I did with Borderlands 1. I started the game as Roland. And then for Borderlands 2, I started as Zero. Then, when I when the DLC came out, I got Gage. And I played as Gage because Gage summons giant robot. You can see where my priorities lie. But yeah, I started playing... I played as Gage instead. Then, when I came back for a full third playthrough, I played as Maya. And Maya is so much fun. Like, oh my god, Maya is so much fun. You can just pick enemies up and just hold them in a fucking gravity well for a little bit, and that's free and that's free damage. And Amara can do all of that plus heal. 
And she's a buff lady. I don't... Strong lady. It's... It's simply the movement. Cat. The same model and make of his own grenade. You... Bugger! What's over here? Two taps to the... Two taps to the knees and he's down. Alright. Hey, we can't walk on water yet, so... We have to be careful. I know we can, we can double jump out of water, so that's at least some type of good. With double jumping out of water, we could at least clear, clear a ledge quickly. $500. Not like I'm gonna need it in this game, but hey. Nice. I actually should go back to the beginning because if I have the double jump now, that means I can access that area in the other. Would you call it an aqueduct? Because there's water, or is an aqueduct a very, very specific thing that can't be called used universally? I don't know. Like, I, I, I've heard the term used before, but I've never actually thought about it myself. Yo, I hate it here sometimes. Also, mermen shooting fireballs. A anyone else think that's weird? Is it just me? I I've I've always found that weird ever since I got into Castlevania a long, long time ago. Like I've never like I've sat down and thought that is why why does he have the ability to shoot fireballs? You're you're a water creature. It's like fucking Solgaleo from... It's like Solgaleo and fucking Pokemon not being a fire type. And yes, I understand the sun is not a giant ball of fire. But still, Steel and Psychic wasn't the fucking immediate guess either. I... I don't know. I think about that one and I'm like, what? Actually, soul set. I do want to re-equip Wing Skeleton because tossing spears. Plus, like spear toss to me just great until I get katana toss or dagger toss. Is that what it says you're tossing katanas? I'm only taking one damage anyways because I have a lot of because I have a lot of defense for where I'm at. Ha ha ha! Wait, let me check something real quick. Do not turn off. Solo gadget. Save replay. Encyclopedia. Nothing. There's nothing there that I'm seeing that I'm missing. Also, damn, we've significant progress for only an hour. Really? This is, it's only been an hour. Ghost Soul would be nice. That Peeping Eye Soul would be great right about now. I remember correctly, Peeping Eye lets you see broken walls, and I would... Well, breakable walls. Not broken walls. Yeah, these are ability souls. And here's where you can check... Here's the bestiary! Bestiaries are nice in games, because you get information about the game. Animated corpse of a soldier... Who marched to his death 36 years ago. He fought in the Demon Castle War. Which we'll never get a game about. Thanks, Konami. And I got a combat knife. Let's go. Don't work like it does in Symphony of the Night. Where like you could tap it twice and get like a combo. Like a two-hit combo. But it is very it is very effective at doing damage. And hey. Look at that. I'm out here cooking. They can't stop me. Also, no, I am not a speedrunner. This is shit I do to keep momentum and to satisfy my hands to do something. This is sure it doesn't say cows. On an island with their stat exactly. You know, it's not like Soma has a friend who would attack sacred cows to feed to feed their other friends instead of, I don't know, in the context of 2035 going to fucking Going to the McDonald's merch with the Walmart. 
Somo's friends would never do that. Seriously, your your kill is why, why? All right, now we can make our way through this little path down here. Oh, can't go that way. I gotta go see my wife. My wife. Fucking... In the context of Soma, I'm not gonna spoil anything in relation to Soma. I don't wanna say something... That, like, someone... If someone has seen... If nobody's seen Castlevania, like, specifically Arya Sara, I don't want to say anything, and then someone's like, "Ah, oh, damn, I was spoiled on that." Because I real, I genuinely do not want to spoil people on the plot of Arya Sorrow. Even like, okay, yeah, the game, I get it, the game's old, but still, I don't. I just think that's messed up, you know? Like, I want people to enjoy things. Let's go spirit tossing. Uh, and this is room before that. Ah. All right. If I'm if we're going the right way, we should be able to make it over to the place we need to be to get some type of progression. Otherwise, I will whip out a guide. Fast the lightning. Mm -mm. Down here. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. I love these little in between areas in all the Castlevania games. They're just nice. Calm spaces to stand and just breathe for a little bit. Welcome to the under underground reservoir. Calming, cold, filled with water, and more enemies. Finally, Batsoul! I've never actually parried the skeleton head before. That is funny. <laughs> Oh damn, look at that. Another thing that upgrades my that upgrades my luck. Too bad luck is trash. Seriously, luck as a stat being broken is weird. I'd, I'll never understand. Uh here it is. That. You got internet back? Let's go. Kaniku with the Kaniku with the internet once again. We love to see it. Your PC can connect, which means kind of getting back in there, into the swing of things with no rings. I was going somewhere that was going to lead into a, a Sonic, a Sonic joke that was going to involve me going bars, but I realized no, no, I don't have bars. Hey, that's nice. Filet, filet, filet mignon. I was watching a friend of mine play Persona 4 Golden on stream for the first time earlier today. Ah! Yeah, can't do anything down here. I'm actually drawing a blank on where to go. And I've played this game a lot. It's like everything between getting the clean, like, meeting Yoko, getting the clean souls, and the end of the game is Loki a blur, and that bothers me. Nah. Give me your soul, damn! The tiny devil's not handing over their relinquishing their soul to their rightful master aggravates me. Yeah, let's just go up there and see what we can do. It's this way, yes, it's this way. I'm making sure because I don't trust my own memories. Nah. I think playing this again, I, this makes me hope um, Igarashi, Koji Igarashi 
is able to make a Bloodstain Ritual of the Night 2 happen, because we got a Bloodstain Curse of the Moon 2, and Curse of the Moon 2 was really cool. I'm just thinking, like, can we get a Ritual of the Night 2, Igarashi-san? I'll be there day one. I wasn't there day one for Ritual of the Night because I was broke at that time, but A, I eventually got it. I got it on... Bro, I got that shit on... On PC, PS4, and Switch. I was dedicated. I still have my physical copy for the Switch laying around here somewhere. Even though it did cause my Switch to overheat a little bit. But uh, we're not going to talk about that, alright? We're just we, we going to ignore that for now, okay? That's not a siren. That is a harpy. What would be a good stopping point? A clock tower where we fight death? No, oh, but that's like, like I gotta be, I'll be leveled well into my thirties by that point. Yeah, that's like way too far away. I really don't know like what would be a good stopping point. I guess like we'll go for like two hours. So we got like what forty-five minutes. Not uh, forty-five minutes. Like 55 minutes, then no, that's not how math works. 35 minutes, then yeah. Ah, there he is! Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It's rude. It is rude to ask questions before b introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I, I cannot give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in the hospital, I forgot everything. I'd forgotten my name and past. Oh, I see. Well, my name is Soma. Your dark power. Were you born with it? I don't know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J. Why have you come to this castle? Call me Jay. I'm filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I felt like my memory has been returning. And your accident occurred in 1999? Maybe Dracula was involved. I fear you are correct. Especially since I have magical powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. Must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah. See ya. Matana. Jay will be very, very, very important later, but let's just say for now, that's Koji Igarashi's self-insert OC, I shit you not. If you look at Iga and then look at Jay, it's like night and day. Jumping while taking damage restores health. Very strange thing to say, but alright, thanks game. The internet is actually- we love to see it. Not today, Creaking Skull. That's a not boss fight if I've ever seen one. He tried to hit me with the why I oughta. Sir, if you don't back up with that shit. With your dollar store bang zoom straight to the moon. Uh, hey, if it functions, man, that's good enough. That's what I say for now. I'm sorry, was that a two-frame? Was that a two-frame attack on his fucking... Oh, wow, I got a combat knife off of that one. It was a two-frame attack off of his, like... I was, like, attacking the fucking Minotaur with that. Hey, the army jacket! More defense, please. 
I'm not buying the war fatigues just yet because while the war fatigues are really good, that's a money sink and money I don't have. Mesmerizes the enemy. Ow! Well, I came down here for five hundred dollars, and I got it. Item use. Yeah, I'm gonna need like two of those. Oh, six million way download for your soul energy. Yeah, you just kind of turned into a fucking no more heroes NPC. I don't feel shit. I think my I think my I think my heart rate has finally like stabilized after the ten the ten person raid from Leah Foxtrot. That was uh so sudden. I was not ready for that, by the way. But it's nice to always get like just people popping up just to say hi. Ow! I like this little, like, soul gadget that tells me if I got something. Ow! Alright, there. Uh, do we go down or up? I... Yeah, I think we're gonna go down because that's where the boss fight is. Keep, I keep having, like, these weird, like, thoughts about, like, games. From, like, yo, what if Metroidvania but plays, like, Devil May Cry? And then my brain goes, dude, you gotta stop doing that. And I'm just thinking, but... But Devil May Metroidvania! Brain, let me have this! And I'm like, I... Like if I learn, like if I get a, good enough at spray editing, uh -huh, I'll do it. Like I'll, I'll make an entire unique character sheet, like spray sheet, with a bunch of different moves from other characters just to do that. Yeah, the boss fight do not get spaced out, and that is probably like the hardest criticism I can give. The end of that game actually made me want to like break something in my room one day. Like, normally, I'm not one to throw something if I'm getting mad at a game, like, if I'm losing or some shit. But, like, that, to me, I legitimately wanted to throw my fucking controller. The end game of, like, Endless Frontier. Like, I'm not saying you're at the end game. I'm just saying that, like, like to preface it. Maria. I gotta bust out Lowe's Granadas again. Item use. <laughs> Joto. I've never actually heard that line from Soma where he just goes Jyoto. Breaking the stone ceiling. Defeat the big golem in Aria of Sorrow. Oh yeah, where you gotta fight Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed. Not fun. Also we can slide now. God, that, that as an input would be really fucking weird. Hey, we can slide now. We can actually, like, get into places we aren't supposed to be, technically. That Jolto line, like, I don't know, just fucking Hikarubi Dorikawa. Jolto! Like, alright, Hiro Yui, calm down. Ow! I, don't, I may not have the most optimized movement, but hey, I have movement, and movement is a lot more than most people can say sometimes. Ah, you bastard! You big green bitch, you tried to, tried to fold me! See, that's that kind of shit that, like, when enemies get really aggressive out of nowhere, it's like you stare at them like, oh, really? 
Okay, I don't know if I can make this comparison. Because, like, I don't know how many people have seen Power Rangers outside of, like, obviously people in my friend group. But, like, like in Sky from S Power Rangers SPD, it's that eyebrow raise he does sometimes. Just doing that, and it's like, alright, you want to fight, then? I'll give you a fight. This area, like I would I would classify this area as quaint. No Durga. Back Durga, hand over that soul. I do wish there was diagonal attacking in this game. There is not. Gym clothes. What's that stack in on that? Concentration up. It's the misogyny brow from Sky. <laughs> is that what we're gonna call it now? The fucking misogyny brow? <laughs> oh no. Just no offense, Captain. But she's a girl. It's the fact that, like, like the first episode of fucking... That first episode of Power Rangers SPD is so crazy to me, just... No offense, Captain, but she's a girl. I don't think it's Sky, why did you say that? Still waiting for a Power Rangers, well, I guess not, my bad, not Power Rangers, a Sentai to hit us with Red Ranger, female Red Ranger from Jump. I think he's most memorable. The moment pre development. Yeah? He had no reason. He looked at Kruger, said that with his whole chest. And you could just feel just Kruger, uh-huh. You really want to, you like, you feel like, like if the show wasn't, like if SPD was not meant for kids, do you just feel Kruger going, why the hell did you say that? Like he would have, he would have hit him with that because like, Damn, man. Could've been worse. It's just, I don't know why, just my brain is like, yo, it could've been so much worse with Sky. I'm different. You are Giddity. Ow! Give me your soul. Strength increased by eight. Let's get it. Welcome to the Hall of the Minotaur. That damage up is what we need. Yeah! We should yoink the axe off his body. Through this door, there we go. Shall we shall leave now? Ah! Persephone! Yes, the enemy's name is Persephone. I wasn't saying that because she was a maid, I legitimately meant that, and it's kind of weird that the maid is Persephone. Wait a minute, let me... No! Uh, giant ghost, rock armor... Where's her name at? Unless I passed it... <laughs> Persephone. A demon that has served a noble master, even though her name is Persephone. Interesting. Give me the soul, dammit! Uh... Hey, this is a safe room. I could use the game's actual, like, built-in save function instead of, like, save rooms. And we'll see how that goes. Ooh, there's the boss fight. This is the headhunter. Beat the headhunter. This shit is traumatizing. As you can see, this shit's weird, bro. But yeah, we want... Not zombie soldier, we want... We want to hit her with the... 
We we will we want that magical piece. Yeah. All right. Next. Okay, we still have giant ghost equipped, so we can deflect the magic. Mother, mother. Ugh. So gross. Shit, I can't deflect magic with that. Wait a minute, I, can I? Nope. I've never noticed he's saying, like, fire or lightning. Ono yo, Ikazuchi yo. Yo, hit me with a measly yo. Hit me with some water. I know you got an ice spell in there, probably. Ow. Ugh. I think, honestly, I probably... Like, no, 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 I want to go for more. Words. Nope. That does not work the way I think it does. Okay. First of all, anti venom. Second of all, yeah. Full set. I cannot wait until we get the multiple soul sets from fucking Aria of Sorrow. Not Aria, Dawn of Sorrow. I'm playing Aria. This. I don't know, I remember you sticking to the ceiling that much. My health is rolling down, 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 down. Ow. Collect souls to increase strength. Now you're a part of my collection. A headhunter increases a lot of my other stats, but it does lower my strength, but the increase of the other stats is worth it for an overall balance build. That's how I feel. I did say I'd go for like two hours, so like we will be going until like the two the two hour and some change mark. Oh you bitch. Ah hey, this room where if you walk past the mirror sometimes something will so they will try and come out and murder you. You're not Valkyrie from Hit Game Valkyrie Profile. You're not Lin at all. Come on, Jake Isle. I know you want to do it. Kilma, you're not even worthy of being holding Kilma. Uh, here, here it is, Kilma demon. Still kind of creepy though. Something that lives within a mirror, waiting to strike you when you least expect it. Like I couldn't imagine that, man. That is, that's fucking scary. Like just. So the execution of that is fucking scary. Sorry, Valkyrie. Not really. Mm -hmm. Who knew someone was common writer? Now I'm just hearing the fucking opening, just the mm -mm 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 -mm, but it's fucking Soma walking towards the screen. I oh, yeah, the discus knight. Really cool enemy. 
Oh, we need to snatch it. Yeah, the first, like that very first episode of Ryuki, man. Just. Not today, good sir. We will be streaming more of this tomorrow, but Wednesday, like I said, I have a friend coming over and we're gonna hang out. Probably watch anime or something. So, like, not really gonna be able to stream then. And, like, Thursday, we will be playing more, but Friday is Black Rock Shooter Patch for Punishing Grey Raven, and we're gonna be checking that out on stream. I'm probably gonna have BRS before stream, so. Or give me. But just know, I love. Just, just forgive me for that, but just know, I do it because I want to be prepared and I want to show off the character ahead of time. Let's go, Soma! And I got an iron plate. I'd love to see it. Uh. Uh, yep, increase defense even further, because more defense is good. Undine. Yeah, it was a yellow soul. Ah! Yeah, now we can walk on water, so we can explore areas that we normally couldn't go to earlier. The Hurting. The Hurting has a really cool fucking swing animation. Look at that shit, man. That looks so sick! It's like purple fire! I also have a personal bias because purple is my favorite color. If you couldn't tell, look at my hair. Alright. Common Rider Dracul. I like knowing Common Rider, if we were to talk like specifically Soma, if Soma were to be a Common Rider, his name would probably be like. A clever play on the fact that he is like something like that. Like he's he has the Dark Lord's power, so they probably like like Common Rider or Lock. I'm trying not to talk about later plot details for people who haven't seen a lot of this game because I don't want to spoil people. And then they're like, "Why'd you do that?" And it's like I didn't mean to. Yeah, I'm not trying to talk about anything. Like or Lock Dracul. I remember correctly, Dracul is like son of like dragon, and Dracu Dracula is son of dragon. Hey, give me that head hunter. Zlebin does my taxes, Heike. And it's just satisfying to look at me swung. Ah! What's this way? The male Perisophone. All right, where are you, Kyoma? Do it. I was gonna say, bitch, if you don't hop out this fucking mirror and fight me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Persephone. You had to catch these hands. Or in this case, these swords. Okay, so you got a couple of places covered so far. I could go all the way back over there. Teleport. Let's like, teleport over here. That'd be a very weird... Juxtaposition of how Kiva was a was a fangire or a vampire. Nemesis, please come into frame so I can actually hit you. You won't give me your sword, but you'll die in a wall, okay. Hey, right. concentration increased by eight. Let's go. More souls I get, the stronger I get. Thanks, Headhunter. Now, Durga, hand it over. <sighs> Whatever, you get the idea. Uh, I gotta go like one more room over. Then I can go up to where I was trying to go before.
Now that's a save room. I don't have to actually worry about the Quetzalcoatls anymore. Oh, hey! Game over screen art! I'm dead serious. If I die, you'll get to see it. There we go. Samurai armor. Samurai armor. It increases my attack, but it lowers my defense. I don't know, man. That attack looking kind of nice, and I... And I take little damage as is. Sometimes you just wanna you just want more ways to output damage. And damage is always nice in Metroidvanias. You can never go wrong with being able to essentially melt a boss. Learning patterns? That's great. But what about for the people who like power? Like, if I were to make a Metroidvania, I would give it- I'd give people so many flexible ways to, like, play the game. Like, bosses would have patterns, yes, but I would also give people ways to just blitz a boss down or figure things out on their own. Like, I would make sure they'd be able to learn things while still having a lot of fun, because, the, like, the point to me is, like, never take away the ability to power trip. Because if people believe, because they're all, in terms of video games, people believe when you get the power trip, it becomes the only way you should play the game. No, the way the the way the game is played is completely up to you and how you view the game. If you want a power trip, go ahead. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's why I never really use heavy bowgun in Monster Hunter. It's like, yeah, it's the best way to speed run a lot of fights, and you get you get insane damage out of it. Whatever, I guess, but that's not fun to me. That's why I stick to the weapons I normally use. Hold on. Coach, yo. Look at him go. Look at him carry me. You served well, mighty Katopla boss steed. Up here. And. Mana Prism. Get away from me! I think I did stick with- I think I actually did stick with this weapon, like, for most of, if not, the entire game up to friggin' death. Yeah, I could just go back over there now. Nah, not today, sir. Over that way, back up, and then we just take a left. Instead. I'm glad to be redoing this, because I feel like I'm... Like, I'm taking care of business much more effectively than I would have before. I'm also supposed to be taking screenshots while I play. I now realize that I have not... Actually, wait a minute, I got a great idea. Hey, let me just I'm trying to make sure I get the screenshot just right. There we go. Alright. I got a message from somebody about something, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any notifications on the side. Alright. We enter it on here and then go back into the inner. Gotta let them know that my combos mean business. And sometimes it just might be a three-hit slash. It actually was designing a, like, search action, which, like, is technically what Metroidvania is, because you are searching out things to do 
and it's an action-based game search action like document where it did blend the concept of like devil may cry like combat like like character action combat on a 2d plane like you would essentially blend the two and like enemies like depending on like how high like what difficulty you were playing on would depend on like how enemies will interact with combat and you the world If you can't tell, we can't go that way. There is nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Persephone. Or as I did hear my friend call her once, Persephone. And I wanted to throw him at a wall for that. Ooh, coffee. Off of a Durga. Yeah, like, it was like the document I made in question. Like, the document I made in question was more so to focus on, like, how your combat options also factored into your gameplay options, the things you could do from there. And I wanted to make sure, like, every weapon felt like it had a purpose amidst the things you could do. Like, it was focused more on, like, a, a light-heavy system for it, where, like, you have a light attack, a heavy attack, and then you would, like, be able to use, like, Two different weapons back to back, comboing them together. Because initially, like the the draft of it was that combat wise, one button would cover one. One button would cover. One button would cover like one weapon, and like the other button would cover. Would cover the other weapon, and then I was like, no, I kind of want to go back. I wanted to double back on that because I felt like there were other ways I could have gone about the combat in documented form. And like, design doc ideas like that are fun because it just, like, it gets the ideas I have out on paper and it also just kind of makes, makes it interesting to see what I, like, what the ambition within the scope of my ideas kind of- God damn, there are a lot of Persephone's here. What the fuck is this, a clone factory? She also knows martial arts, that's right. Okay, that didn't work. I'm sorry. Ah, 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 burn. Thumb burning. Alright, we should be able to go this way. Welcome to the top floor, folks. Now, we shouldn't be up here for too long. We, we can't really do much up here yet. Not yet. But, we will be coming back later. So yeah, we're just not gonna go this way. We're going back the other way to then go downstairs again. I need a better chair. This one's not... Like, this one is fine, but it's not comfortable. I think my butt hurt. It does have a good track, though, much like a lot of areas do. I know the witch ladies are hot, Selma, but you have to resist. Oh, this is just a Persephone clone factory. This is weird. Oh. There's Lilith. And there goes all my MP. Why she kicked me? Oh shit, I'm about to die. I almost died. You know what? Let me save now, just in case. I might actually have to use this. 
Man, those menu sounds are satisfying. Tickles my brain, if you will. That room feels like- not anything, but it, the room with like the clones of Persephone. Kind of feels like if you don't have the soul, you should by now. Type deal. Alright. Oh, well, I can go downstairs and use it in Dean to walk across the water. Can't walk- I can't walk, like, in the water, but I can at least walk under the water. And walking under the- Mother fu- I was in the middle of a thought. No, get back here. No, 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 don't run. Yeah, you can't run from me. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, it's Fall now. She's a pit. Yeah. can't slide on water, though. You can walk on it, you can't slide on it. That'd be cool. Back up here. Up here. Undine. Back to Headhunter. Give me my damage, please. I think this takes place back to the under underground reservoir. I don't lose the floating guard. What the fuck? Hello, cockatrice. Fuck the cockatrice. Up. Also, this area is like extremely important. Like, we have to come back here. Also, that enemy is why I wanted the imp. The imps are why I wanted the tiny devil souls so bad. Because they can hit imps effortlessly. As you can see, that one is called Gorgon, even though it's just a recolor of the Katopla boss. Well, this is the one the Red Crow is called a Red Crow. It's not called a fucking Raven or some shit like that. Yeah, the Katoblapas and the Gorgon are essentially the same enemy function-wise. But yeah, welcome to the Lost Woods of the game, if you will. None of that. Honestly, please disappear. I don't want to take damage. All right, the man score is back. Daedalus, you bastard! Item, because I don't feel like dying. Melon. Tried to hit me with a burn knuckle. The werewolf has a burn knuckle. The wolf enemy has burn knuckle. So the clock tower is a Yeah, the clock tower is a great place to stop. So, we meet again. I'm glad you- I'm glad to see you're unscathed. Good to see you too. Uh, I've got something I want to ask you. I can find a new song from bands I've liked for a while, apparently. Ah, yes, I love that season. Truly great! Sure, go ahead. 
Someone had told me... Someone told me that you are to inherit Dracula's power. I take it the lady from the church told you that, didn't she? It's not true, is it? The term inherit is incorrect. It's true then. I was born on the very day Dracula was destroyed. So in short, that means I am Dracula. Can't be right. You've been so kind and friendly to me. That is because I don't consider you a threat to my mission. With that being said, you have made it this far, and I sense a power within you. You tell me, what kind of power has awoken within you? The power to rule. What? You foolish boy! That's impossible! Huh? I can't remain here any longer. I MUST get to the throne! Your name is Soma, right? You're wrong, Soma! I would not allow you to rule! Is what was that all about? And as you can see, Graham kinda... going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs upon hearing Soma say the power to rule. Thanks, lightning doll. Also, fuck the clock tower in every Castlevania instance. Why are you alright hurting? And like, damage resistances. I can play for fucking Medusa heads. Meet the Medusa heads. I hate these enemies. Every Castlevania fan hates Medusa heads. But I think this is a good place to stop. We could save right here. We've been going for like two hours. Seven minutes exactly. Feels good to be playing Aria of Sorrow. Almost at Symphony of the Night. It feels good to be playing Aria of Sorrow. And I will be back with more. That was weird. One of the sites I was on got disconnected for a second, according to Restream, but it's all good. But yeah, we're going to be back with more Castlevania tomorrow, and on Wednesday, no Castlevania. Thursday, war, and finally, on Friday, we're going to be playing the Black Rock Shooter patch for Punishing Graven, and I can't wait. So, with all that being said, I want y'all to be easy. Take care. Wash your damn hands. Drink some fucking water. I'm about to. While I have my snack, and of course, above all else, have yourselves... A damn good one. And of course, as always, stay gold. Jana.